It was about 20 years ago, and a buddy of mine who, I suppose, respected me for my expertise in carpentry, called me up and told me that he could use my expertise. And I said, but you're a concrete guy. I don't know anything about that. And he's like, yeah, but we need a Jackson driver. Oh yeah, he really valued my expertise. This is a Jackson. I got to drive that full of concrete. I did eventually learn the trade somewhat, but this wheelbarrow has not seen any concrete. It's just for around the house use and it only moves dirt and gravel and s stuff like that. But when I first moved here, I used it a lot. And so I ended up making a couple cool modifications to it, which I will show you. I don't want to overextend my expertise, but from what I know of wheelbarrows, the Jackson is the best. And with some tinkering, you can make it even better. Truth be told, I don't really use this so much anymore because I have an ATV cart, which pretty much does everything that I need it to do for around here. So, I want to capture record of these changes before I, you know, get rid of this wheelbarrow. Hope they're useful to you. In ascending importance, a little shelf that will hold your water bottle or your gloves or even your shovel. Pretty handy because you know you end up sticking stuff there anyways and then it just falls on the ground. So look, real simple. Find the contour of the shape of the wheelbarrow and match it. But we can do one better. If you install some PVC pipe with a couple of hose clamps, I'm especially fond of this one. I used it a lot. With the rake, it's kind of a skinny handle so it doesn't work all that well. But with a normal shovel, it kind of wedges in tight and doesn't even shake while you're using it. This, <laughs> this handle doesn't count because it's homemade from a branch. I have a video about it if you want to see. And last, but certainly not least, to be honest, this is probably most, most important, a pair of hardwood skis for underneath these skids. This is nice because it won't dig into the dirt so much, it won't scratch your driveway, if you have it on some delicate floor or concrete it won't leave blue skid marks everywhere. Uh, I think I used hickory, but you know, oak, maple, cherry, anything that you can find that's somewhat hard. You'll just have to come up with some kind of bolt and countersink it in there. I guess that's gone forever in my case. And secure it down with a nut. I hope you got something out of this that's useful. I used mine a lot when I used it before I started using an ATV. And so while my opinion of the wheelbarrow is, well, dim somewhat diminished from what it used to be, it's still, if it's the best you can do, an awesome tool. Believe it or not, they didn't have wheelbarrows back when they built the pyramids. This piece of technology did not yet exist in this form. Isn't that something else? Don't take for granted how the physics of this can make your work a lot easier. This piece of technology can also make your ease easier as well, because this is what I learned that concrete finishers do while they're waiting for the concrete to set up. <laughs> 